These videos are generated by the latest model called LTX which is very fast by the way and by this end of the video you'll get everything to know about the latest model and you will also be able to make videos like this without paying any fee unlimited videos how are you gonna do it install this entire model on our local machine and don't worry if you don't have high-end gpus i'll give you a solution for that too so now let's talk about how we're gonna do it i'm Adit and you're watching skill curve so first of all the steps are pretty simple we need to install comfy ui first go to the comfy ui github repository just simply clone the repository on the local machine Simply run the GPU side. If you don't have GPU, you can simply click on run CPU and it will take a little time to install the Comfy UI. After installing Comfy UI, it will start on your browser. Now what? You need to install custom uh, installation manager, which is Comfy UI manager. Go to the Comfy UI manager GitHub repository. By the way, all the links is in the description. So you don't need to go anywhere else. This video is enough for you. Now, after installing the Comfy UI Manager, which is very easy, relative to the Comfy UI. So just you have to install the Comfy UI Manager folder into the Comfy UI and that's it. The Comfy UI Manager and the Comfy UI has been installed on your device. Now what you need to do is, now it's time to install the model. The links are in the description, the model links, go to Hugging Face Repositories, download the models and go to the checkpoint folder inside the Comfy UI, Portable Media folder and just simply paste the model files, save tensor files and text encoder files. After pasting all that, now we are ready to use these models. But wait, but we don't have a workflow. Well, in the description, I have given you the workflow link. Just simply go to the workflow link and just download it and just drag and drop this into the Comfy UI. After dragging and dropping into Comfy UI, you'll get the two workflows. First workflow is where which is text to video and another workflow is text to uh, image to video we'll talk about both just in a few seconds so let's talk about first ltx video model which is 0.9.5 which represents a significant advancement in ai video synthesis allowing creators to generate high quality coherent video sequences from either descriptive text prompts or image references now let me explain you the entire workflow so you don't get confused so first of all, this workflow consists of 13 interconnected nodes that work together in the following sequences. Now the, the foundation begins with checkpoint loader simple that handles the specialized 2 billion parameter model. In the parallel, the clip loader node loads the T5XXL FP16 text encoder that will process our prompt. Now this prompt is processed through clip text encode node. A negative prompt helps the model to avoid the common artifacts. Now let's talk about the empty LTXLV latent video node that establishes our video's structure parameter. The LTXV scheduler and K sampler select the node define how the generation process unfolds. Now let's talk about the sampler custom node that handles the actual generation process. And finally the output is decoded and saved in both a WebM and WebP format. Now you have now a rough idea of how the text to video workflow works, but let me tell you the more optimal settings and parameters, which is perfect for better output. Now let's talk about resolution first. So 768 into 512 pixel provides a good balance between both quality and processing requirements. While frame, uh, if you increase it more pixel, then maybe take more time and resources. However, I would say go with 768 to 512 pixel it's enough for that now let's talk about frame count which is 97 frames gives you approximately four second at 24 fps uh, and steps if you talk about steps the 30 diffusion step offers a good quality of speed trade-off and in cfg scale it's 2.05 that is closely to follow the prompt. The RIS multi-step provides smooth, consistent motion and the 25 conditioning scale is also good to impact your prompt. Now, scheduler setting uses default DDIM scheduler with a minimum of Sigma 0.1 and dynamic thrust holding. Now, let's talk about the importance of detailed prompts because this model needs a long descriptive prompt. If the prompt is short, your quality will suffer because this model is pretty solid and pretty short. Now, for example, the workflow example has a drone quickly rise. This prompt is pretty long. So this is an idea of how descriptive prompt should be written. If you don't know how to write descriptive prompt, just simply go to the chat GPT, write your prompt, essay, make it descriptive, and it will start generating a descriptive prompt basis of your prompt. So negative prompts are possibly used for helps you eliminate the common issues. Now let's talk about image to video generation since we talk about text to video. 
Let's talk about the second workflow which is image to video. So image to video workflow allows you to animate existing images or use them as a starting point for video generation. So this contains 21 nodes while the text to video generated 30 nodes. The similar to the first workflow we load the LTX video model and text encoder then the text prompt will space an important role in the guiding animation. Now the load image node bring reference image the LTX B process nodes prepare these images for the video generation pipeline. The unique LTX add guide needs a specific frames to be influenced by reference image by setting frame indices 0 and the last frame should be minus 1 we can control how the video begins and ends now like the first workflow we configure resolution frame count and sampling parameters and the output processing is saved both in webp and web M formats. Now let's talk about some optimal setting here the settings are same the frame count should be 97 30 diffusion step, 2.05 CFG scale, 25 conditioning. So this is the optimal workflow setting. I generated some random prompts to test out how comfy UI is working with LTX and the speed is really cool. So I generated a random prompt of create a video of a portrait of a woman with warm inviting smile and you can read the entire prompt on the screen. It's very descriptive. Remember LTX always gives better output on the descriptive prompt. I added the prompt in the text encode and you can see the video of a female smiling the teeth and everything is looking so so perfect i generated again to let's see how the output begins this time the skin is a little darker and the hairs are pretty pretty natural actually so i think the prompt is working so well and the ltx speed is really amazing i'm really impressed by the speed so i generated another uh, prompt which is a waterfall prompt which is a very descriptive prompt so the prompt is like this envision a majestic waterfall cast Getting down so it's a very descriptive prompt chat gpt works best when it comes to generating some descriptive prompt so i copied the entire descriptive prompt and pasted it again clip text in code and again generated the entire and the water looking so real the sunset and the entire reflection of the sunlight to the water and flow of water is absolutely good again i regenerated it and this time it's looking really well the waterfall however the water movement kind of may be unrealistic but it's a good way to but but it gives you a rough idea of how fast LTX is. Now this thing is for people who don't have high-end GPUs on their local machine. You can go to the lightricks.com which is the main parent company of this LTX model. You can simply click on try LTX studio button and it will be redirected to the LTX.studio app. And here I'll teach you what you can do. So now you are in the main interface of LTX Studio. It's pretty simple, not so much complex. On the side, you can see the upgrade button. Now let me tell you, they have some pricing. So you need to pay at least $12 a month, $28 a month. You can go for light plan and then you can choose other options. However, make sure licensing is the main thing here. Now you can select the plan here because this is not free at all, but it's pretty cheaper if you want some low GPU. Now for well, the second you can see that we are on the most generation option. You can simply upload an image of that and just simply prompt it and just simply click on generate video button and that's it. Your video will start getting generated. Now again we are on the main interface of LTX Studio and now you can see there are so many options to talk about. You can train an actor. You can generate motion with LTX model. You can even generate images. And there are so many things. There's asset, there's motion generator, storyboard, image generator. There's also an image generator in the LTX studio. You can start your prompt. You can select your style. There's so many styles like scribble, film motion, cinematic, anime, 3D cartoon. You can select your own. You can also upload your image of your reference and then you can generate the image. There are so many expect ratios. You can select them. So this was LTX model, how you can use LTX model on your local machine. I've explained you all the steps. In the later part of the video, you'll see some generation I generated by the LTX model. If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it. And for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies videos every day, just subscribe to the channel.